Okay guys, part two. No more screwing around. This is the bait I wanted to see in the water. This is why I went to the pool. This is a new Quake 80. That's the bait. Okay. And it is a suspending rattle bait. bait lipless bait, whatever you want to call it. Sort of the generic term is a trap style bait. A couple things I really, really like about this bait. It is a 7 8 ounce bait. As I described in another video, Part of the problem with a lot of suspending baits that get that get made are they're really hard to throw. So the folks at Six Cents made this a very heavy bait. Um, not well, yeah, very heavy bait, seven eighths ounce. Um, I've talked about this before. I mean, the colors are just crazy good. So uh, that is the uh, that is the Rayburn Ghost bait. Let me show you one more color I love right here. This is the red proof bait. So it's got a little gold at the top, and you can see it really. And it's interesting. If you just look at that, you don't see it, but you see the little bit of sun there reflecting off that bait. Another beautiful bait. I, that's the only two colors I have right now. So um, the guys at Sixth Sense knew that I was going to shoot this video, and I knew this bait had come out. And I said, hey, send me a couple baits. And that's what they sent me. So I'm really excited. I don't believe these are available to the public yet. I think they will be in the next week, two weeks. So keep, keep track on the Sixth Sense website. As I've mentioned before, you can get any of your baits on the Sixth Sense website at 10% off using the coupon code KEN10. So a couple things that I really like about this bait. Uh, number one is that it's heavy, so you can throw it a long ways. But what I'm gonna show you here in this video, watch to the tail end, and I show you where it is, when this bait does a hunt move. So for those of you who don't know that what that means, so for most of us, most baits run sort of true, right? They run just in a direction. A hunt is when that bait does something crazy. It, 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 it varies off its normal track. And a lot of times we do that by popping that bait or stopping that bait and jerking that bait. This bait's got some crazy good hunt moves built into it. So check the little hunt moves this bait do at the end of this video. It's crazy. This would absolutely get crushed. So I'm gonna show you steady retrieve to you, steady retrieve away from you. But then, so by the way, what you do when you grass fish, I know a lot of guys don't get the chance to do a lot of grass fishing like those of us who fish Raver and Salida quite a bit do or in other places, Gunners Bill around the country, is the idea behind a trap, uh, behind a, a rattle bait bite, especially in the springtime, is just to roll that bait along slow enough that it ticks the top of that grass. And when it hangs in that grass, you just pop it. You don't rip it, you just pop it. And actually the term is rip, let me rephrase that. You don't pull it a long ways. You don't want to pull it five feet. You want to pull it a little short distance so it stops and then it pauses. It stops, it stops. So what I did for you here was I showed you what that would look like without needing grass, which is something we've never been able to do before with a rattle bait or a, one that's heavy enough that you can throw. You can throw that bait out there, reel it down, stop it, and you'll hear it in the water. This is a really cool bait, and this is going to be a player, and I think it may be really be a, may really be a player next January, February, December, January, February, Rayburn, where there's not a lot of grass, but those fish are sort of conditioned to eat that bait on that rip. So check this out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this is the Clout 5.4. So this is a stick bait, if you will. It is a soft plastic bait. It's a little bit narrower than a lot of soft plastic baits. It's got a very blunt tip on it. But hopefully you can see, and I think I've showed you this in some of the other videos as well, it's got a lot of, um, it's kind of a diamond pattern on the bait, and it moves a lot of water. Uh, Jacques Cousteau Enderly, uh, uh, my, my cameraman, did a great job of capturing this. I'm going to slow them up for you. I threw this on a 3 aught and a 4 aught hook, Texas, Texas rigged as we called it, with no weight. And then I also rigged it on a wacky. So let's check this footage out. This is great footage that he captured for us, showing how much that bait wobbles as that bait falls. And I always think about this. If you remember as a kid, you did the thing with the pencil where you held it and it made it look like it was sort of bending. That's exactly what this bait looks like following. So check this footage out. <laughs> So Jackson and I have been playing with this bait a little bit, and, and it has uh, the same wiggle, actually maybe even more pronounced wiggle, uh, than some other stick baits that we're all familiar with. Um, I, my sense is it's slightly lighter, but not a whole bunch so. So just to give you a sense, I rigged that on a 3 aught hook. I'm not sure I wouldn't rig it on a 4 aught hook as well, but um, it's, it's not quite as beefy as some other baits. So I think you're probably going to have a really good uh, hookup ratio on that bait. But let us show you the drop rate on it. So this will be uh, on 15 pound fluorocarbon, Seaguar Invisex fluorocarbon with a 3 aught hook. And uh, what's it, about 10 feet down here? Nine and a half. Nine and a half feet. So let's kind of get a sense of how long it takes to get off. So this will be right, right bridge just on the 3 aught open hook. The third thing I want to show you is the new 4.6 Ned Fry. Uh, I talked about this, actually I did, and then I realized the footage wasn't very good. This bait actually reminds me from a shape standpoint of something that Zoom made and may still make called a fish doctor that I used to fish a lot. It's quite a bit bigger than a fish doctor is. Uh, it's a 4.6 inch long bait. That particular color is just a solid green pumpkin. It's a flat bottom. And then it's, uh, it's very uh, squared off, if you will, with a pointed tail on it. Now, unfortunately, uh, all my stuff's at the lake, so I didn't have a true Ned uh, hook with me or a Ned weight with hook. So I just put it on a little 3 16th, 3 16th ounce um, shaky head hook, if you will. What you'll note here is this bait still floats, but it doesn't float as high, if you will, as that shaky head bait did in that first video. So you'll see this bait will fall over. I'll be real curious and I'll play with it again and try to get some more footage when I get an actual Ned hook on it. But I just wanted to show you that bait. I know a lot of guys love throwing the Ned rig. I like this because it's a little bit bigger bait. The little tiny Ned stuff, although you get a ton of bites on them, let's face it, on Rayburn and Toledo, you know, 5, 14 inch fish do you no good. So I think that potential is going to get a bigger bite.
The last bait I want to show you guys is the Provoke bait. It's a jerk bait. Uh, this particular one is a Provoke 106X. So 106 is the millimeters in the length. It's a suspending jerk bait. We've talked about this before. They do beautiful, beautiful colors in their baits. Okay. This bait will run three to six feet. You're going to see in the pool, we only got it to three feet on 15 pound fluorocarbon. We were using 15 pound and Vizx fluorocarbon. Part of that's because I'm making a really short cast. That pool's only maybe 50, 60 feet long, so you really can't work that bait down as deep as you could on a long cast. But what I love about this bait, again, is great fit and finish. And, and I got to tell you, when I first heard Six Cents was coming out with jerk baits, I'm like, hmm, guys, there's already some really great jerk baits out there. Why would you want to, you know, kind of get into that space? Well, Six Cents' take on that is, if you're going to do it, do it really, really well. So it's a perfectly weighted bait. It's got the internal transfer, so you can throw it a long way. It's actually a heavy bait, if you will. So I had to look. It's a half ounce of bait, so it's really easy to throw a long ways, which again is a struggle if you remember throwing. Some of the original jerk baits you couldn't throw them very far so you got a half ounce and you got the internal transfer if you don't know what that is there's basically weights in the bait that when you go to throw it go to the back of the bait so it flies better so it flies further and you'll see this bait has crazy action watch right at the end of this the baits jerk jerk jerking and it actually when i jerk it it spins around to look to see what's following it so i gotta imagine that would freak a fish that's trailing that bait and all of a sudden the bait's facing him He's going to smoke it, so check this footage out. Okay, so that's our new baits, uh, current new baits from Six Sense. There's another bait coming I've talked about. We've got a crankbait coming out that they've created the bill inside the crankbait. How do I do that? And the bill actually moves back and forth. Uh, it's got incredible action. I'll show that to you as soon as it's available or just before it's available so y'all can get some. Um, but got some great new stuff out from Six Sense. If you didn't see the first video, there's a number, part one to this video. I'll post it right there, if you will. If you want to jump back and watch that video to show you the other new baits that are just to market and not just new to market. So, for example, that Provoke bait, that jerk bait has been being made for several years. They're just so popular, they're selling out really quick. So, if you want some of those, grab them right now. I'll also mention uh, they have tungsten back in stock as well. They've got, they just got a huge shipment of stuff. So, if there's been some stuff you've been looking for on Six Cents that they've been out of stock, I would jump on the website right now and grab that stuff and remember use the code, discount code KEN10 for a 10% discount on all your baits. Thanks for tuning in. More Todd, Todd Driscoll. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking tonight. More Todd Driscoll Texas Fisheries Biologist videos coming up uh, here in the next day or two, uh, and I'll get that whole series up in the next few weeks. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon. I can't go away. Sarah hates when I do this. Last thing. These got stuck in for me, which is awesome. You guys see I wear fish gloves all the time. New Six Cents fish gloves. I love those things. Um, so that's also something brand new that Six Cents has come out with for those of us who are trying to protect our hands from the sun and the palms of our hands from fish fins and other things. Get you some Six Cents gloves, 10% off if you want to. Thanks. So I think some of these baits are really going to make a big splash.
Thanks, by the way, Jackson, for doing my filming for me today.